This is the Engineer, and the Engineer sounds like a weird class to have in Torchlight because it's a very fast-paced action game, and so you don't really want to sit around building things. Uh, but it turns out the Engineer isn't really kind of uh, about building things and deployables. Um, it's sort of the tank class, but a strategic tank. Um, and you do have some gadgets to play around with. Uh, these are spider mines, and you ch chuck those down and they'll run around and seek out enemies and then blow up on them, which is really cool. Um, and you have a whole tree of things like that, like little gadgets that you can deploy temporarily uh, to help you out. But your main abilities are kind of focused around just being super, super tough and building up uh, your power very, very slowly. Um, so in terms of survivability, you've got like a little healing bot that you can put down here, um, and that will just heal you intermittently, um, which is good for like, uh, it's not good enough to keep you alive against a boss, but it's good enough to kind of regenerate you between fights without wasting potions. And uh, the bar in the center looks a bit different to the other classes, and where the other classes kind of build up charge very, very quickly in a fight and then lose it um, as they're walking between enemies, um, if they're not constantly killing things. The engineer is, is almost persistent. It does decay over time, but it's very, very slowly. So you can afford to just take it slow and uh, build up charge. And a lot of your the things that you use charge for don't actually use up your charge. So uh, the main attack you'll see me using is a big kind of orange swishy swipe, uh, which I'll use on these spiders here. And that, <laughs> as you'll see, kills all the things. It just kills everything. <laughs> and the reason for that is that I've built up uh, maximum charge before I did it, and uh, the special kind of quirk of this particular area attack is that it doesn't spend charge and it also doesn't generate charge. Uh, but the more charge you have, the more powerful it is. And so each of those green pips adds 10% to the uh, normal damage that it does. So I'm doing like 150% of my normal damage to everything around me, which is unheard of. Like none of the other classes have anything that good. Um, but the, the trade off is that you have to build this charge and it's much, much slower for you to build that. Um, and the skills that kind of generate it more are pretty pathetic. Uh, you'll see me use like a little electric shock thing that does no damage, it barely tickles, but it generates a little bit of charge so you kind of build up momentum that way. And I didn't expect, like the engineers seem kind of boring at first, when you start you've just got a normal attack and then uh, a normal attack that does more damage. So it's like you're, you're kind of, um, you start with a wrench, a two-handed wrench, so you're, it sort of sets you up as being a two-handed specialist. Um, but uh, that kind of limits your options, you know, you're just hitting things really hard or you can hit things even harder for some mana cost. But very, very quickly, like by level 7, the skills you have access to are amazing. We saw the spider, man, spider mines earlier, um, and once you've got this power slash thing, <laughs> you can see it just slaughters everything. And this kind of like this slow pace to him, um, the way that uh, you can just tank damage to a ridiculous extent, and like keep building up your power and building up your power doing no damage to anybody and then suddenly lash out and just slay everything is really really satisfying